Hosted on the Pulse servers right now are 10 custom maps, still at a stage where your feedback can make a difference. These have been hand-picked and tested by the staff behind the scenes so that you can be sure that they're all either great fun to play or are unique enough to deserve your time anyway, but hopefully they're both of these things. First is Kavana. If it sounds familiar, that's because it's Havana. But don't worry, it's sunny and canally, hence Kavana. So if you fancy some hostage action on a notorious map from Counter Strike's past, this is the one for you. Ireland is an insertion-like map that has spent several years in the making. It's a labour of love, crammed full of easter eggs and smart little touches. The islands are open and airy, but the boat itself is terrifyingly cramped and claustrophobic. Another unique mapping experience. Riviera has gone through many changes and adjustments, 60 at last count. Its maker aims to make it competitively viable, and although it's hostage, its layout is more like most diffuse maps. He is collaborating with several people from Italy to ensure that the theme will be as authentic as it can be. Frost is a classic diffuse map layout, and although it's still in dev textures, it's been expertly decorated so that you know what everything should be. It's clean, contrasty, and a solid map to play on. Glace is similarly minimalistic to look at, but is still full of atmosphere, complete with icebergs, bright coloured snowy surfaces, and buildings. My favourite bit has to be the distinctive long bombsite atop a boat, which plays out very differently from what you might be used to. I have a special place in my heart for Tide, succeeding in looking genuinely awesome from all sorts of angles. Honestly, that's enough of a reason to include it. All mappers should aspire to eventually produce something as impressive and as memorable as this Hogwarts-style seaside castle. Pasta is It's Omega's first map, though you wouldn't know it. He's done it right so far and is regularly updating and improving it, so you can be sure that your feedback on this map will be much appreciated. I love the colour-coordinated trims on the buildings, a nice little touch that helps people to describe where they are quickly. The map Tomorrow has been lovingly updated almost 50 times and has also received playtesting from Top Hat Waffle. It's at that exciting point where the gameplay is done and the details should soon be following. Now's your chance to make one last change to this map before that stage. Studio has Operation Potential, being developed by an all-star cast of successful skin makers and mappers, led by Zellstorm, who you might remember for making Ramis way back in Week 4's playtesting last year. Tropicana is a beautiful map, makes me feel happy just walking around it until I'm shot in the face. Its maker, Han Turkey, is passionate about updating and improving it too. Hopefully, from this, he'll get even more useful feedback than he has already over on his workshop page. I've got a good feeling about these maps, or more specifically, the mappers themselves. I don't see any point in hosting maps that aren't going to be worked upon further, but all of these are definitely alive and well and are primed for suggestions. If you find any that you feel strongly about, then I'm sure the mappers behind them would love to hear from you. And who knows, maybe you'll even be able to shoot them in the face on the servers as well. Regardless, I'm sure that they'll love to hear what you have to say about their maps. Thanks to Pulse Servers once again for making these kinds of community playtesting sessions possible. They're hosting the servers and are also offering a 20% discount on your own for the first month if you use the code CLICKS.